It's Friday, Friday, finished Friday. Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here. It's finished Friday. Hey, before we get started on my finished objects, of which I have a few, remember to hook that subscribe button and like the video and leave some yarn in the comments. I love to comment with you guys. Have a little chat in the chat section of the videos. It's really fun for me. Um, by chat, I mean comment. Oh, I'm like super distracted right here, down here, over there is the thing to the door. Maybe in editing, you guys won't see that except for when I show it. Anyway, so distracting. Let's talk about what I finished. Okay, first things up, I'm going to put it right here because this is no longer mine. I do not have it to show. It's an emotional support potato. Um, if you've been following, you know that my daughter broke up with her boyfriend and just to help her along, I made her a couple of things and she loves potatoes and she loved the idea of an emotional support potato. So it was really fun. I basically just made like an oval shape. Um, I've never done that with knitting before. So that was really fun to learn how to do the pinhole cast on and work my way in amigurumi of a knitting pattern. I've done that many a time in the crochet world. And then once it's all knit together, when I go through with my fit of closing up my yarn, I'll like stick it in somewhere, pull it out somewhere, kind of tug and that pulls it in to make that little indent in the potato. And I do that in a few places and put a cute little face on it and all this stuff. So that's it. Um, other thing I made, I made another little tiny sock. This time I put it on a key ring. I brought a tape measure. This tape measure actually has centimeters and inches. So I thought I would do measuring like this. So from the top, it's lined up here at the top of it, down to there almost four inches long or uh is that about nine nine and a half centimeters it's like it's about nine and a half centimeters long and then across the leg part line it up there line it up here it is two inches and well, it's about five centimeters so if you want to see this way, two inches. Anyway, um, it's really fun. I used the pattern, a sock for Dobby. And um, they, she has three different little pattern bits in there. Like a stain, plain stockinette tells you how to do that. And she's got this little um, eyelet pattern I think is really pretty and fun. And then she's got some sort of rib stitch that I'm going to try. And then I use the Fish Lips Kiss Heel. She teaches in her pattern, heel flap and guess it, I believe. And then um, I did follow her little toe decrease there. I don't know. The light's pretty bright. And so anyway, it's really fun, really cute. Can't tell you anything about the yarn it was given to me without a label so I don't really know anything about it other than I'm not allergic to it so there's no wool I'm pretty sure it's a polyester or no sorry an acrylic or an acrylic polyester blend I don't it could be straight polyester or it could have some nylon in it um, it doesn't feel like straight nylon I have worked with that now so I know that what that feels like and it doesn't feel like that so anyway um, I'm really excited about this and have somebody to give that to. And then I will be casting on a whole bunch. Oh, I gotta remember to do that. Okay, sorry. It is the last day of February today. I'm recording this on Thursday. You guys are seeing it on March 1st. Um, and a part of things is I've gotta hurry and get it in a Ravelry group thing, so. Anyway, another thing I have for you guys. Well, I'm gonna do this first. 
So I already showed this on things we're making Thursday. But this is a blanket border that I finished. And that was a really fun blanket border. I actually tell you a little bit about the blanket border in the um, things we're making Thursday video. So if you want to go see that, you can go see that. The dog is getting into stuff under my bed that makes me anxious. One of the things that I have, so I have this cute little cat um, that I change its outfit every once in a while. And here he is. I brought him in here. And this here, make sure his little glasses are on far enough because they help hold his hat. That is his look. Now, I crocheted this. Oh, if it was the color it looks like in there, I would really like it a lot better. I don't know. Coloring's off. This, um, I'm not thrilled. I made this a, a few years ago. The only yarn I had at the time was the main part of this is kind of that olive green. I don't really like it. And then you got the Kelly greens for the shamrock and the little edge. That's a really fun edge. Kind of looks like shamrocks around the edge there. I don't know how well you can see that. Probably not very well at all. It's a little three pico thing. So you do a pico, a pico, a pico, and then move on and it makes little shamrocks. That's pretty cool. But this, this right here is why he is here. Today I was like, you know, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't like what he was wearing on his, he, there goes his hat. He had a beard. And he had my gnome beard, which it looks great for Christmas when he's wearing his Christmas hat, but not as fun for um, St. Patrick's Day. He's got a little gnome hat that I made him a while ago. I don't know where his hat went. Anyway, um, so I just did this. I used a little Picos to make it look like a little um, oh, leprechaun, leprechaun beard. I'm um, really excited about this. I do want to make him a new one of these. My daughter found these at a thrift store and that was a really fun addition to him. And um, I also want to make a little, he has this little hook right here that I want to make something and the green thing is okay. It's not, I don't love it there, but for now it is what it is. But usually he has little things that hook here. So he doesn't have anything for St. Patrick's Day, so I'm going to make him a little Thing to hang there. I don't know if I'm going to get that done this year or not, but um, I wanted to show you his lovely beard. It's a really fun beard. I really like it. So I've got him there with his cute little hat. I also probably will make him a hat eventually as well that actually fits him. This one has some memories from my daughter, so she likes it, but... And then he usually hangs out in my front room. Okay, and then the other thing that I just whipped up today is one of these. Um, I followed the pattern. There's a few of them, and I can't remember her name. The it's an emo, it's a Mobius strip, so it is like an infinity loop thing, and it just keeps pulling. And I'd kind of made it for my daughter, but she doesn't like it. She likes the pulling action. But she's like, there's no satisfaction with getting to the end of something. Which is a fair enough thing. Um, but another, my other daughter, she likes it. She also loves blue. So um, my first daughter decided to give it to her. So that's really fun. It's very intriguing how it's made. So um, I do have this and I will course put any patterns that I did use down below a lot of the stuff doesn't have patterns but if there is a pattern I will put it below and the tutorial that I followed for this um, an emotional support potato does not have a pattern I just did a circle until I thought I was done like increased in a circle did a few to make it long as I thought maybe I'd want it did some circles decreases at the end. You can do that with crochet or knit. And then, like I said, I would take my needle and I would like pull it out in some place and go back in grabbing some yarn. And then when I pull it out somewhere else, I kind of tug it. 
just to kind of make that potato look and then embroidered a little face on him. Um, the tiny sock that has the fish lips kiss heel pattern I'll leave a link to and it has um, a bookmark for Dobby pattern that I will link to so you can go do that. The blanket border I just came up with on my own. The beard I came up with on my own and like I said I'll leave the tutorial for this down below. I think that's it for finished Friday. I feel like because I made a lot of little things there was a big sense of accomplishment this month week. Also, um, I did finish clue 11 for the multivalence, which is also my mystery yarn project, um, mystery yarn challenge project, my whip for this month. That um, clue 11 reveal is coming out on Saturday. And I have not started the last clue yet, so I'll probably have to evaluate what I have, what I have left going on tonight. But I'm going to work on that stuff and stop fidgeting and let you guys go. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. Um, I'll hang up this one. Knitting, crochet, whatever. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!